the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Or is 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 explaining? Uh huh. It's function. Okay. I, I, I don't know. That's just me, just off the top of my head, just looking at that, and I, and 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 just trying to. Yeah, yeah. Trying to trying to say it in yeah. in without it being a parable, right? Because the. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, what you're saying, you're not, you're not being off. Is that, I don't think it's the right answer. Wrong answer. But I'm saying is, there's about a sower too, right? So that's uh, and and what is it? What is what is he sowing? Right? What are you saying? <clears throat> that you know, the the spirit of God is explaining its function, <laughs> <laughs> or or. Or is, is, I don't know, is, is it, in my mind, is, is something on that line. Right. Well, the thing is, the Spirit of God is, God is sending out His Word. I, I've, I got, I'm sending a sower, right? But that's what it says, sower, right? It says, yeah. for hearken, behold, there went, what? A sower, right? The, the Spirit, listen to me. The Holy Spirit, I'm just saying, I'm just repeating what he's saying. Listen, he's understanding. I'm sending out a soul to the Word of God. And in that word, the really we think about it, what is what is this really part about? I am opening the door to all of you. Come back. Right? Because all the way back in Genesis, he said there's a cut, there was a disconnect, right? There was a disconnect between God and man, right? Man became a dead spirit, right? Unconnected, right? Ellen, we can hear you all back there in the background. <laughs> But, but that's, I agree with what you're saying. I'm just saying that that's what I'm seeing too, right? The spirit, like yeah. you said, the spirit is working. What is the spirit working to do? To sow the word of God into the heart of mm. man that there's a connection that's coming. And the sower is a connection between you and me. Yeah, so now I thought, I thought a little longer. Uh-huh. It's, it's more like me saying, hey. Hey. Y'all need to get this. Come on now. This is important. The Spirit of God is speaking. Come on. And and that that's it. <laughs> Come on, now. Yeah. He's speaking. And I thought the significant what like I said, what is the work of what is the work of God? Is to believe in the Son that He sent, right? Right? The Son. And that's so, so, you know, so important to understand that there's, there's Jesus sowing into the hearts of men, sowing the kingdom, the principles, the doctrine. Yeah. He's coming to sow, listen to him, because he got something to say. <laughs> it's how I look at it. Now, one of the things that Vision I brought up, though, is that we talked about the fact is that understanding was the problem about them because how can you listen but you well you can listen all day long but you don't have no understanding you, you're not going to get it right and that was the issue with them we said so faith comes by hearing and hear the word of god however the listeners in this parable without understanding that they, they heard i left the word of d off of that sorry for anybody that was in the video heard this parable without understanding the listeners of that parable you know what i mean they were 
they didn't understand. And here's what Mark uh, 13, 14 says. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, by hearing, you shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing, you shall see, and shall not perceive. And that was the biggest problem with the people that was hearing the word. That's the biggest problem with people who don't believe in the word. And then there's the, biggest, there's the other problem with those who have received Christ, but they still need to get understanding, right? So I put down here the statement that therefore faith cannot come. And this is something for everybody. Faith cannot come without understanding what you have faith in. There is no faith without understanding. You have to understand what he's sowing. You have to understand what he's doing. In this parable, the scripture said back in the, I guess, further down, he said those people did not understand what they were hearing. They heard, but it didn't go any further. And then the other piece with uh, Fish and I were talking about was They, therefore, they came without understanding, and he said, "What should that skip something?" Uh, it says right here, even in Mark four, staff down to the first verse ten. And when they were alone, they were about him with the twelve, ask of him the parable. The parable we're talking about, everybody. The parable we're talking about is Mark four one through nine here he's a saying in verse 11 and he said unto them unto you is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of god so they're talking about the kingdom but unto them that are out all these things are done in parable the seeing they may see and not perceive in hearing they may hear and not understand Lest at any time they should be converted and their sins be forgiven them. So even as we as we're preaching the gospel, as we're ministering the gospel, we need to understand that understanding is critical. The person has to want to understand too, right? I can't make somebody understand, can I? I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I can. It's it's all about the fact of understanding, and and the last piece of that was uh of a jump here is is check this out brother brother, uh, <laughs> brother addison what's going on here this is the same verse right you you, you can't believe it i understand look at look at first uh look at second read that for us. second corinthians four one through four okay therefore seeing we have this ministry we As we have received mercy, Come we faint now. not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, Come nor on. handling the word of God deceitfully, Come but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience Come in on. the sight of God. <laughs> but if our gospel be hidden, what? It is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Come on. And that we're trying to say in that parable, do you think those people understood what was going on? I believe some of them. Some of them did. Well, he said he, he took the ones that asked the question. He said, uh, you, I'm going to give you the mystery. Yeah. But but what's going on in this world, though, as we, as we, as we put ourselves, is that there's quite a few that the devil has blind, and therefore they can't receive the word of God. So we're talking about the sower, right? What's going on with the sower? The sower is sowing the word. What's what's happening uh, on the in between of that? What's happening? 
you got the devil trying to hide the gospel as you're preaching. And as he was talking to them in the parable, he said a lot of them, they were here, but they couldn't understand. They, they couldn't perceive what was going on. And those people asked him afterward, what, why was he talking to them in the parable? So that, that's, that's the challenge of all of us. Is the fact is that the gospel is, is here for my unbelievers. So my facts... It's, it, it's also, even in its re being revealed to believers. Yeah. It's the believer who's, who's hiding it from themselves. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, know I mean, the, the the believers are 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 still blind. Come on, it's a yeah. It's it's the revelation <laughs> that is that needs to be sought after. Come on, because the the word is still parables to those that don't receive. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's not you. It's the parables are still being said. Because right. you have preachers still preaching the word. Right. And if they don't have the understanding, it is a parable <laughs> to me. Right. Yes. It is still a parable to those so-called believers. Yes. Because if 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 it's if it's not if it's not sown in the hearts of men. Uh -huh. To where it overrides the minds Come out. of men, right? Then, what what ground is it being sown on? <laughs> so, and that, and that's just it. Because if you can go, if look, I go back to I've been, I've been in, in in church my entire life, and I can honestly say that. Early on, there was very few patches <laughs> of good ground. Come on. There and was more stony ground, right. thorny ground, you know, way wayside ground than anything. Yeah. Uh, -huh. there, there, uh that's in the church. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's 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 the word being sown in parables yes yeah and, and and someone trying to give the understanding of the mystery hey, look. at the same time at the same time right but the difference then and still is now is that the spirit of god Yes. Yeah. Has to bring, has to give the purpose yeah. of the information being sown. Yeah. If the Spirit of God does not explain <laughs> the purpose of the word that's being sown, it is not going to fall on good ground. It's not going to fall on good ground. I mean, you're you're not going to receive it. It's, it's well. Let me take that take that back. There will be no fruit. <laughs> I'm fruitfulness, right? There is 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 the finish of that. Not that it won't fall on 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 ground that is going to produce. It 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 will grow, right? But it will not bring forth fruit. If, right. because and, and man and in thinking of that there's a lot of there's a lot of foliage right <laughs> there there is a there is there's an abundance of forest yes sir with no fruit <laughs> <laughs> great there is there is farm groves, mm. rows and rows and rows 
of 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 corn stalks with no corn. Wow. There is there is peach orchards with no peaches. Wow. 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 You know it's interesting because I, I, here's the rest of that verse for you. See what you think about it. But I think the fact is that one of the things to understand is that our job is to preach Jesus Christ. So, you know, we we're supposed to preach about the one <laughs> who's going to give them the revelation. <laughs> Come on. Come on. The because so it, it, it all boils right back to this parable. I mean, this, and, 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 and the crazy thing is, until we went about doing this CIT, I, I, I had, let's just say I, I was ignorant of the importance of this, even though the word says, if you don't get this, <laughs> you ain't gonna get nothing. So now. glory to God that we we're here. Right. You know, I, I can I, I, I can just give him praise because this this has really, really blessed me in a way that it's it's just powerful. Yeah. To grab this and to know that everything hinges on this come on now all the other parables hinges on this one yes sir well and and, and as i said before <laughs> everything hinges on this come on <laughs> because everything is a parable yes until you get this till you get this till you get understanding of this you know, in my fact, if you look at the uh, the, the, the remainder of the scripture you was reading, look look what it says right there, right? Go ahead and read that for us. But this is saying, what is it saying? Look at that first uh, second Corinthians four four five. four five. Yeah. For we preach not ourselves. That's the issue, isn't it? <laughs> That's, That's a big issue. Right there. That's a big issue, but because. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. Because it says it right there. And you know, when Hawkins, Hawkins, the whole thing, they all went out and sore. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't preach that ourselves. That's what we get wrapped up in. That's what we get all upset with. That's what we sit there and get all mad because nobody want to hear your opinion. And we don't, we, they, they wow. <laughs> so instead of hearing about the kingdom, <laughs> these <laughs> folks are hearing about this world and this world system. And getting upset about it. <laughs> and not hearing about the kingdom and the kingdom system. <laughs> Two different systems. Two different messages. That sound the same. Come on. This you hear that? Kind of kind of kind of like in the garden. <laughs> two different messages. Sound two. the same. They sound the same, but they two messages. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Same. All the way back to Genesis. Wow. He did tell him to get out. He he got them to focus on themselves, didn't he? Yeah. He said, "Man, you're gonna be you're gonna be wise. You're gonna be just like God. And oh man, you're gonna know good and evil. You're gonna be, look look at everything. Look at all about you, man. I'm trying to get it all about you." And that verse right there said, "We preach not ourselves." The the the, the one thing that God didn't teach him was good and evil yeah and here this 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 serpent is trying to get them to get an understanding of the one thing that they don't need an understanding of come on <laughs> they did right right and i think i think it's interesting even that parable of the four mark four I let, you know i just like the fact that he started off saying here yeah, went out a sower uh-huh Hey, there's one out of sore. Single. Right? 
Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> the Son. What is that? This is the work of God. To believe in the Son in whom he sent. That's the work of God. That's what our work is supposed to be doing. This scripture right said, we preach not ourselves. What are we going to do? We're doing a pat. You said it last week. We're doing a pass appreciation day. Choir appreciation day. We I appreciate Jesus. <laughs> like I said, uh, our churches, <laughs> so-called churches, the, the, these houses of worship, come out. <laughs> they're they're they are catering to the flesh. Yes, sir. Yes, Period. Yes, sir. Period. Yes, sir. Because even what seems to be spiritual Come on. is emotional. Is emotional. It, it's off base, off message. You know, even when we look at that letter, we're talking about the first letter in the book of Revelation, right? In, in chapter two. What's the biggest condemning thing they said, he said about that? Remember that one? Say that again. In that letter, Revelation, chapter two. When he was talking about the churches, right? The first church, what was the issue? What was the biggest condemning issue that he had with them? You lost your first love. Remember that? Yeah. Your first love. And this this parable said they went out a soul to soul. This is they they left it. Yes, sir. They left. They first love. They lost it. They didn't lose it. They left it. Yeah, they they, they you forgot about what it was it. What was your purpose? What was your love? What what did you why do you even have this ministry? If you're not putting me first. What, 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 what is the what is your ministry? Your ministry foundation is built on Christ, nothing else. It can't be built on anything else. Anytime it's built on anything else, now you are missed it. The soul went out the soul. That scripture here said we preach not ourselves, but that's what the devil was good at, like you said in Genesis. It all became about you, not about him. And when he comes looking for you, you run from him. Where are you? Where are you, Adam? Hey, bitch. Where are you, Adam? As a, where you preaching? Where are you preaching? Are you preaching about me? Who are you? Where are you preaching? <laughs> what are you preaching? Because if you ain't preaching about the kingdom, you're not preaching about the sun. You're not preaching. About, who are you? Pre what are you preaching about? Can't be about you. What about you? <laughs> I like this. I like that it says, so we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord. Mm. Wow. So uh, I was just, <laughs> man, this is heavy. <laughs> and, and, and I don't even know if, if, if it should be said, but I'm going to say it anyway. Hey, brother. Um, I'm, I'm sitting up here looking at Genesis 3 and and is that happening in the churches? Well, you know, is that, that is that what's being done in the pulpit? Yeah. Is is the enemy taking what God has said and added to it and changed it some? I would say that you know even with that he said the, even in Genesis he he gave a whole new different message. Surely you will not die. Yeah. And, I mean, and, well, but, and, well, he 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 took what was said and then added to it. He did. Well, he said, look at yeah, and then he yeah he went he, he it was it was contrary to what God had said. Yeah. And. Yeah. If 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 you're not 
sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, him crucified. Come on. Him Come dying. Come on. Him resurrected. That's it. Him taking up the keys. Uh-huh. And 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 him sharing. Yes, sir. What he has with us. Come on. Then what 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 are you sharing? What are you sharing? Right. What, what, all, all I see. <laughs> that's what I see. When I, right now, me thinking of what's going on in many of these houses of worship. Yes, sir. Yeah. If if they're if they are not teaching the gospel. Uh huh. Of the kingdom of heaven, then what what are they doing? Well, some of them teaching what you see. Some of them teaching uh, 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 the don'ts, the what uh, the, the don'ts, the don'ts, whatever the rules are, right? You know, you, you, know, you, you, you got to follow all the laws, right? <laughs> as if you can fulfill the laws, as if they can fulfill the laws themselves. You know, we, we, we're going to put you on the right narrow street. We're going to do it. And you're going to walk that street. Because we're going to be right there with you. We got a stick in our hand. Anytime you get off that lane, we're going to pop you with that stick. Because you will follow the rules. And you will, you will, I mean, you know, in other words, we're trying to preach the law. Be with you again. Opposed to preaching Christ, who is the person who does change us. I mean, that's what it says. You know, it's interesting to say, for verse uh, 2 Corinthians 4 5 says, for, for we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light, he's shining the light, right? God commanded the light to shine out of darkness. Has shined where? In our hearts. So that's what, listen, that's always what the sword is doing, right? The whole, that sword is trying to put light into the hearts, the soul of man, and to give the light of knowledge. Of what? Of what? Of what? See, I think that's what we, sometimes we may lose track of, is don't understand of what? Of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Hearken, the sword went out to sow. Knowledge of the Son, knowledge of the Kingdom, knowledge of the Father, knowledge of the Holy Spirit. That's the Gospel. That's what we're called to do when we get off track and trying to get worried about where they're at. People come when God puts them where they need to be. I think Bishop said last week about this. And this is what he said. They just go ahead, until he ready to receive us, they just want to go ahead and do everything they're supposed to do. <laughs> go to the max. <laughs> because until you can understand it, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. And look at Ephesians. What, what, what do you think about Ephesians, brother? As the 17 and 18. That's how far we got back on Thursday. Okay. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Yes. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. One of my favorite scriptures. Ain't that something? One of, my, uh, one of the... the, the the most powerful is prayers that I've read in the Bible. Come on. Or brothers and sisters. Yes. Um, this is this is amazing. 